Hello everyone, I'm Serial Beliefs, and welcome back to another episode from my Oda campaign. Right now, Oda Nobunaga is in Hoki over here, and we're going to go ahead and select his army, and bring them down to Mimasaka. Here we go right now, and we'll go ahead and take over that location with great ease, because their main army, the main army of the Amako, are outside of their town here. Let's go ahead and auto-resolve that, and then occupy that location. Next, I'll try to sabotage their main army over here, and keep them at that location, which, that did work. Alright, good work, my ninja. I'm going to go ahead and give you a new retainer. And you're good at... Ah, a guy should disguise. Oh, you've got rough hands. Oh my. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and leave it as it is. And then my other ninja, I wanted to try to go ahead and assassinate one of their leaders. Such as... Actually, we'll try to kill that Mitsuki. Ichikawa Yukihide. Let's get rid of him. That will help me be able to sabotage him and kill off their people later. Because I believe that he provides a bonus to defend against my own ninjas. I will bring my monk down. Uh-oh, they're not happy up here now. Can I recruit? I can. Good. I shall do so. Now, I need to go ahead and build something there, though for now, we'll leave it alone. Now, let's go back over to Izu, and my younger brother, Oda Nobuyuki, I'm going to go ahead and let him change up his unit. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's go ahead and select all my units, and then I'll press Control m Now, I've combined, or I thought I was combining my units, but I guess not. Does it combine them all, or just one? Huh. Never mind. All right, we'll just do it like this, then. I forgot the hotkey for Shogun 2 because it does change up for different games. In the past games, it used to just be M, but now I'll have to look that up at some point. All right, so we've combined most of them. Let me go ahead and combine these two groups now and then go after Izu, and I'll go ahead and see you on the battlefield. Now, here we go. They're beginning. Ooh, there's a lot of that. Oh, look at him. He's helping out, too. I did not expect my commander of that group to actually help out and load up the projectiles. Pretty cool of you, man. Pretty cool of you. Alright, well, let's get ready. Come on, pull it. Pull it. So we'll try to break down their gates and then move on from there. And If not their gates, then maybe we'll just go after their people and destroy them. Kill them all. Let's see, there's a gate right here, yeah. Ooh, nice bit of damage. Oh, man! Indeed, I like this little... Oh, let's just hit them. Screw these guys. Let's hit these guys all up here. Oh, yeah, let's get in their business, man. Let's get in that business. Alright, where's the samurai at? Over there? Okay. We'll fire at a lot of their men. Destroy them all. Kill them all. We'll probably need to kill their samurai anyway. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just fire all over and kind of watch. See that? It's coming back. Ooh! That was a lot of blood. So we should be able to completely beat them down with all of my flaming projectiles. You know, those flaming balls of Oda. Quite potent. That is a lot of blood. Look at the little blood splatters. Dirty business, that is. Alright. I wish I could fire these, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and look again. We have a bow garrison coming up. I want to break down that gate. I probably should. I've done 81% damage to it. So that's not too bad. I will right, have you fire that one. I'll have you fire back here. Oh, yeah, way back here. There's a lot of them. A lot of those nasty bastards. Okay. Oh, that one kind of missed a little bit. Just a little bit. No, it missed a lot. All right, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward now because, really, I just have to watch them do this part. Or at least put, put it at forward speed, or... Yeah, fast forward, forward speed. Alright, so we're burning down some of their fort walls. I wish we'll just catch a fire and burn it all down. Oh, nice! We tore up part of their wall here. And now they're going, hey oh, And they're dead now. Some of them are even levitating, they're so dead. Where's the logic in that? Okay. So, they still have some of their bow garrison left. That's alright with me. Let's go ahead and fire a little bit more over here at these Ashigaru. Ashiguru. And then, ooh, hello. I like this group over here. Man, there was nothing in that room, huh? All right, so we, we want to hit this group now. This group right over here. Boom! And many more have fallen. I love how they die at the same time. Look at him. He's like, man, I could have been a ballerina, but now I'm just dead. He's pretty flexible, too. I don't know why I'm saying that. It does not look too hard to do. I should probably be watching the battle now. Let's kill the samurai, though. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Oda. So, at this time, Oda was in a unique position in comparison to people like Takeda Shingen or Yusugi Kinshin and others who were very great men, very powerful, too, but they were kept in check by their neighbors who would probably go after their lands should they try to go for Kyoto. And so, because of that, they were unable to move on to Kyoto, as I just said, like Oda Nobunaga was. Now, Oda, he was very close to Kyoto, if you think about where he's at and 
what I was able to do in, in my own campaign. So that really gave me a very easy time. Now let's go ahead and look at this real quick before we go on. All right, we still have a lot of projectiles, so we still need to hit a little bit more. Do they have a leader here? I have no clue. Wow, I've hit them all over the map though. That's really dreadful for them. Wish I could hit these retainers a little bit more. They've lost a few, but not enough. I love how everything's on fire now. What a terrible place to be. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's some Yachty Samurai. Let's try to go after that group. Man, this place is torn up. Their walls are all messed up. Everything's messed up. These mango nails are just fantastic. There's flames all over. Yeah. Anyway, we'll just keep on firing for now. Killing more and more. Like this group over here. We'll fire that group. This group back here. Kill a lot of their Yachty. Ooh, this group over here. Look at them. They're so... Oh, that's perfect. Yes, sir. Oh, now you are screwed though. Prepare. Yeah, come on. Hit them right in the midst of their ranks. I would love that. Please do that. Anyway, so around 1570, Oda Nobunaga, a great power in Kyoto at this time, would press for Ashikaga Yoshiaki to press the Damyo from all around to attend a banquet. Now, he would even have Yoshikaga Asakura invited, who was once a great power in Kyoto, before Oda came and kicked him out. And so, he refused to go ahead and go on. And he was also the one who refused to help Yoshiaki in the past. Now, have we not hit this group yet? Come on, it's one hit. Right here, in the middle. Oh, is, is that it? Oh, so close. You're kidding me. Come on. Guys, you got to hit this group. Maybe if I aim at the horses over here, we'll have a better chance. I hope so. It's too many to not hit. So inaccurate, it just flies all over, which has worked out not but not with hitting this group. Oh, did one hit close by because they're dying? Find that amusing. All right, nothing, nothing. Maybe if I can get them to fire over here on the ground, that might be a little bit better. I mean, there's like what four groups here, yeah, four groups there, and everything's on fire. All right, we're getting closer. We have a few shots left. Oh, I wish I could fire these on my own, but I was, I believe, introduced in Fall of the Samurai, so that wouldn't be possible right now. I was kind of hoping it would be retroactively put into this campaign, though. That would be nice if they focused a bit on that, doing some re uh, retroactive work, but I know that you know, would be a probably very costly. All right, so we're still waiting. I don't even know where they're hitting right now. Oh, okay. Apparently they're hitting this. Oh, I could just withdraw and come back later and then kill more like this, but no, that's, that's a bit mean. Okay, we've taken out their tin shoe. That tin shoe's gone, man. Oh, yes, we hit a few, finally. Kind of. Yeah, a few. I'm telling you, man, if we just had one good hit right in the middle of their stuff. Whoa. That worked out nicely, too. Oh, I think we... Oh, yes, we did get a hit. Nice. I want more, though. They're looking kind of sad about all of this. I love how they're so densely packed. It's a, just adorable. Just adorable. All right, so we'll just wait a little bit longer. We're almost done with all of this business. And as you can see, it looks like hell here. Oh, well, this looks a little bit better now, kind of. All right, did we finish up? Just about. Okay, now I can begin to charge up my men. Bring them up. Unlock their formation. Bring them all up like this. Bring up my... Bo Ashigaru and Oda Nobuyuki. Like that. Okay. So they only have 70 men over here on the wall. My flaming mangonels have gotten a lot of kills, so they've gone up in experience. Maybe if I fire back here, they'll have a better chance. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to hit some people. Just trying to hit these big groups here. We could have had such an easy time in this one location. Alright, let's fast forward a little bit more. That way we can kind of speed this up. We need to do so. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to hit in that big group as I wanted them to. I don't even know where they're firing at now. Looks like they're just hitting everywhere but where I want them to. Okay, let's try to get some shots back here. Maybe they'll accidentally hit groups in the front over here because they seem to be hitting up here. Whoa! Yeah, this place is on fire, man. Alright, let's go ahead and get my archers to fire at this group. Take out that group. Easily. I'll move up my matchlocks. Yeah, see, they're out of ammunition. We didn't really hit this group at all. I mean, I could have my archers do some business to them, but probably not as much as I would like. 
All right, so did we break them yet? No, they're wavering though. As you can see, we're just, we have too many. They have too few. They're already without many of their men. Ooh, let's take a look at this from the perspective of my own side. Yeah. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's keep on going. Let's see, they're wavering. All good to go. All right, so anyway, as I was saying, Mr. Yoshikage Asakura would go ahead and refuse to attend this banquet. So because of that, Oda was like, hey, you're disloyal, and so would go out and attack him under that pretense. And so with the help of Tokugawa Ideyasu, formerly known as Matsudaira Motoyasu, they would attack Echizen together and were going straight towards his capital. However, a twist happened, and you could say, what a, what a twist. And so what would happen is that Oda's brother-in-law, Asai Nagamasa, would betray Oda. Now, Asai was married to Oda's sister, Oichi, but you have to keep in mind that the Asai were also allied to the Asakura for many years, I mean decades. So you really can't null and void some alliance that's been there for so long with only one simple marriage. And so because of that, he would gather up his troops and attack Oda, even though he probably knew that he was going to do too well. But out of honor of that treaty, of that alliance, they would go ahead and do so. Alright, well, let's have these guys stop firing now. Stop fighting! Alright. Now we need to move in. But I would like to begin to fire at their samurai over here. And I want my... Yeah, here, I'll put this into two groups like that. Unlock your formation. Let's get you up here now. Do not run. There is no need for running. I almost want to just go back now to go ahead and... Because, I mean, I have a lot of Ashigata, so this does not look as easy to take on. Because I do have a lot of samurai still. A lot of men still. I mean, I could just run back out, attack it again, because they have... Oh boy, I'm not sure how this will go. I'll have to burn down the gate and then use my Yachty Wall and probably attack them like that. They don't have a lot of uh, bow Ashigaru left, so I should be fine. Alright, let's see. We're attacking the Yachty Samurai over here, so that's doing pretty well. I mean, they could charge out, but what would that get them? Yeah, dead, but of course they're going to die anyway, so I don't think that really matters too much. Alright, let's get my general back. I'm going to have group 2, who's back here. Go ahead and move behind my Ashigaru, like this. My matchlocks I want to have up here to begin to fire at them if they charge at me, but for now it's fine. Alright, we'll use some flaming arrows all together now. So we want to go through that Yadi Samurai group, who could certainly stop us for a little while. Alright. So we'll talk more about what would happen with Asai Nagamasa and the Asakura later. This was one of the great threats to Oda's power early on, around 1570, as I said. Alright, so let's go ahead and fast forward again. After we kind of look at them. Well, there's their light cavalry. We haven't killed enough. We certainly have not. Whew, look at the dead people here, though. I mean, I, I don't know how many we've killed. I guess I, I could check. 289, 225. Wow. That is a lot of dead people. I, don't, I forgot how many they have here total, but apparently plenty more. I guess I could, oh wait, I could have my archers attack over here instead. That would be, ooh, much better. Provided that my Ashigaru are inside, which I will have them just run in for now. We'll get them all to run in. I want to begin to hit them wherever I can. There's the Yachty Samurai. If they want to charge down, they can feel free to. I would like that a lot, actually. All right, let's go ahead and get these groups in here. Hold on, we'll slow down now. I'm going to go ahead and capture this gate with these three groups now once they're all inside we'll move them over here and it's hard for me to see with all that smoke we'll move these groups over here we want to capture all these towers to let them begin to fire at them over inside that would certainly help me out okay now let's begin to hit this big group over here that is what i need oh you're not inside yet let's move you inside then let's move you inside as well very nasty and long siege here this affair is all right let's get them into yadi wall we want to face it this way as to not lose too many men if they come charging down at us again yadi wall now they do have some men here so we need to be careful with that i'll go ahead and begin to fight them here and apparently over here oh that's bo dojo samurai oh yes all right come on <laughs> they're like wow well, we're not gonna fight you we'll just ignore you Alright, Nobuyuki, let's get you over here. Now, as far as my 
How's she got her doing? How are you doing? Are you, are you firing yet? You should be soon. I should have saved my flaming arrows for this big group, man. That's a lot of men to shoot at. All right, match locks. Let's move you up. I'm going to move in more men. I'm going to move up group two now to just kind of be out here to be ready if I need to go fight. And now we're separating them and destroying them. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Stab, stab, stab. The song of my people, baby. All right. I'm not losing too many of my Ashigaru yet. I need to capture those towers, though. Certainly so. All right. I'm about to be doing so over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring in these two groups as well. Okay, we're still firing at this group. This densely packed group. I hope that we are. Are, are we? Oh, things are shaking here quite a bit. See, if I was beginning to fire as I was using my siege engines, or if I began to charge on this place while I was doing so, man, I would have had so much friendly fire, it would have been terrible. Alright, they're beginning to waver now, so they're about to be done with. Wait! Dead. Ooh. And many have been killed. Alright. We're about to capture this one location over here. Do I need to burn down? No, I do not. That gate's done for. Good, good. We shall now wait for a moment. And then enter the domain. Like that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're still firing over here, right? I still don't see their volleys going crazy as I would like them to. Are they too close? They might be too close. I don't know. Let's move them in different locations. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. I have plenty to move in. And Nobuyuki's here, too, to kind of chill out and watch his people do their stuff. Let's move this group over here. I'm going to move this group over here to watch that gate. Kind of keeping them locked in. All right, my tower should be killing them now. That's right, my tower. I don't know if it is or not. I hope it is. All right, so we're about to charge in. I just want my archers to help out. We'll attack that group. I really want to hit this group, though. That's the one that I really want dead. They have a lot of people there. A lot. Wait, I can just move over here. That might be a little bit better. Yeah. Matchlock Ashigaru. Oh, I don't know what I'll have them do. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Ah. All right. Man, this place has just been toasted. On fire, everything. All that nasty stuff. Right, how many kills have you guys gotten so far? 57? Six, okay, not that many. Really not that many. Oh, now they're beginning to fire a little bit more, though. So that's better. There we go. Now I'm seeing people drop. Exactly as I want it to be. Alright, let's go ahead and just kind of fast forward it. We need to kill as many as we can before we go in there. Or we might be in a little bit of trouble later. I don't want any friendly fire or anything like that. Now on this side, I, I could certainly go ahead and charge in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in some more groups. Let's see, I'll bring in these two over here. These two will march on this side. And then I'll have, I, I guess I'll probably put two more over here. That's where I want them to fight first. So I don't know how crazy things will be in here. Let's begin to move in now, since I'm focusing on this big chunk of men. Now they're really being knocked down to size. All right, so we're about to have a great victory. Let's go ahead and just get it going a little, little bit faster. My Lord, a glorious victory will the oh, yes, it will be mine. So after we take easy, we'll have a lot more money and be able to do so much more. We'll just have a great time just destroying and getting more money. And apparently they're firing at me with their archers. There are very few archers at that. Not enough for me to worry about, though, right now. I mean, I'll, I'll lose some men, but hey. Alright, you've killed over almost two... Wow, yeah, they're gaining their kills now. They are earning their stars, baby. Look at that. We're just dropping them. I mean, that was a dense group here. Now they're all just kind of being whittled down. <laughs> I don't know what the AI is doing, but it's certainly being silly. Alright, let's go ahead and begin to move in. Alright, now, with my Yachty Walls all over... Alright, Nobuyuki, I'm going to keep you closer as my men are beginning to pour into this location. The Yachty Wall, again. Alright, it'll take him a while to organize to be able to get ready to handle these affairs, so I'll have to wait a little bit. Alright, let's see. I guess we'll use some flaming arrows now. Flaming arrows, what do they do? They're more powerful than normal arrows and can also cause flammable objects to catch fire, but are unusable in wet weather. So that's why I use them, because they're more powerful. They'll get more kills. Hopefully. Not as many there, but still, we killed some of them. All right, now they're beginning to move to the other side, and look at how many died here. A lot. All right, so everyone's moving in now. It took me a while. I was taking my time, but we're... Ooh, damn! Bad choice, friends. Bad place to fight me, I'm telling you. Come on, Samurai. Get in here. Oh, the Hojo. You're fighting the Oda. How silly is that? 
I do wish that... Hold on. What's happening over here? I've got a few groups fighting alone. Oh, they're not doing too hot. My archers are still firing up pawns and are getting some kills. They're probably having some friendly fire too, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's part of the part of the process, baby. Part of what happens. But they are all wavering now. Wow. Well, look at you. Having that new uh, flame-projecting mega nail that I captured from them was really just a great boon for our forces. That really helped out. All right, let's go over here now. Hit them from behind with my other yachty. I have them surrounded. I would like to go ahead and have my matchlocks climb up and begin to fight them a little bit. I guess I'll try to get them up there. Maybe they'll do something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're losing a few men over here. I'll go ahead and just rally up and inspire our group. There we are. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's it, baby. There's nothing left of them to really look at. They're stupid and dead. Oh, did I not capture a... T oh, I forgot all about this tower. Shame on me. Let's go capture that tower. Oh, they're messing with my group here. All right, I'm going to have to send in another group. No Yachty Wall. I'll just send them in like this. They'll be all right. Uh, let's see. They're still fighting us over here. They're still wavering, and we're still losing a lot now that they've kind of stopped losing so quickly. Of course, I'm still firing at them with my archers. I want to try to hit this group back here. You yeah, see, I'm fighting them over in this area. I was trying to flank them, but apparently they stopped that. Okay, now my matchlocks are getting up on this area. They're about to begin firing very soon. Hold on, if I get them over here, they can fire at this group and destroy them. Come on, get over here. I want to use you for once. Alright, they still have plenty down there. Because these guys will not route because, I mean, this is it. They all die here. There is no give up, which I find to be interesting. Damn! I don't think there's enough for me to even fire at now. There's very few left. Slaughtered, I'm telling you. Alright. Yeah, I don't know who else to fire at. My archers have destroyed them. They got so many kills there. Alright, stop firing. You've done your part. My <laughs> matchlocks are just kind of like, yeah, let's get point blank. Let's just point blank these fools. How about you destroy that guy or kill him, sorry. Yeah, we've killed off most of them. There's pretty much no one left. Who, who's left here? few other guys are running. Can't really fire. There's no point in doing that now. We'll just have a lot of friendly fire. Are, are there still people resisting me? They have like one soldier here, one soldier here. Would you fire at him and kill him, please? <laughs> These people are just chilling out. Well, let's just run around. That'll be delightful. Oh, he's charging at my men now. I wish they wouldn't all just move as one. Because I, oh, I want the other ones to fire. Yes, like that. Yes. <laughs> now hit this guy, please. Alright, good. They're finally firing. Let's go ahead and check it out. We got that one guy left. Please shoot him. I think they did. Oh, no, no. He's, he's still here. He's like, oh, let's go to the flag. For the hojo. <laughs> That's the sound that he would be making right now. Alright. Did, did we win? Did we kill them all? We did. Hooray. All right. Dishonor is like a scorn of tree. Each time instead of a facing goalie helps you at large. Ooh. Sorry, I'm, I'm done now. I'm done with that. All right. Dishonor is like a scar on a tree. Which time, instead of effacing, only helps to enlarge. Ooh, a maximum from Bushido, the way of the warrior. Which I believe actually came out, you know, a few hundred years after this time period. So it's a bit... Anyway, I'll talk about that later. I think I have spoken on it a bit. Okay, Kasahara... Masatada is now dead. Look at the kills here. Fantastic. Alright. Well, that worked out. Now I'm making a lot more. That's a start. Let's go over to Sagami and check out what they're doing there. Hello! Killed your people. Don't be mad. I need some new soldiers, but I'll have to wait. I might use that. No, it's not meant to be a recruitment area, but I could use it for that right now. I don't really want to, but I might have to. I right, to move that army over here. I'm still building up ships. I need more, even more to go ahead and try to counter these forces that are opposing me at this time. Now, they took Etchison from me. They're coming down here, which is unfortunate. I can't really stop that yet. I have, Well, I do have a big army, but they might go after Owadi if I leave. I don't know how many forces they have close by, so I'll have to be careful with that. All right, these samurai, I'll have to move over here. Let's go ahead and switch out 
Oh, okay, I can't move you in yet. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I'll probably just send... Oh, I'll send Takayama in because Oda seems to have the West kind of... Hmm, messed up right now, and I love that. All right. Oh, hello. Who's that? Yadi? Oh, right. I hired them through a mission. They'll be nice to add to my little brother's army. I mean, the Takeda still have Kai, thankfully, because they've lost pretty much everything else. Ugh. All right, let's see. We can end this turn, I believe. I'm working on, currently, Gunpowder Mastery, so pretty soon you'll see more matchlocks helping me out, or at least defending my key settlements. If I have them on those key locations, I can move on without having so many men in one spot. Then, they can kill hundreds as they charge up towards us. That's where they serve as best. Now, they can work on the field, but you have to be a bit more, I guess, proactive with them in order to make them work in these battles, because, as you can see, they're very fickle. They're very finicky. It's a fun word to say. Finicky. All right. Let's see, they've got their agents trying to disrupt my activities right now. It's, or they're trying to buy off my men, probably. I shouldn't have left them out there. That was my fault. Not really enough to stop me, but enough to bother me. So yes, Takayama will probably move over, over there now. And yeah, they did betray me. Now they're going towards probably Omi. Yeah, they're going towards... Ooh, they raided a village. Oh, you bastards. All right, fine, fine. Oh, okay. They got rid of my agent? That's sad. They had someone betray me. <sighs> I'll have to kill them with my spies. Alright, well, I shall see all of you later, and as always, until then.